The learning objectives of this lesson are to learn about the structure of the standard, understand the principles and the major clauses within the standard. ISO 13405 specifies requirements for a quality management system where an organisation needs to demonstrate its ability to produce medical devices and related services that consistently meet customer and applicable regulatory requirements. Such organisations can be involved in one or more stages of the device cycle including design and development, production, storage and distribution, installation or servicing of the medical device. ISO 13485 is based on eight principles of quality management, customer focus, leadership, involvement of people, process approach, a system approach to management, continual improvement, fact-based decision-making and a mutual beneficial supplier relationships. Let's have a look at these principles in a little more detail. Number one, customer focus. Understanding current and future needs of our customers and other interested parties contributes to sustained success for the organization. Principle two, leadership. Leaders at all levels establish unity of purpose and direction and create conditions in which people are engaged in achieving the organization's quality objectives. Principle three is about people involvement. Engaging people at all levels throughout the organization are essential to enhance its capability to create and deliver value. Principle four is the process approach. Consistent and predictable results are achieved more effectively and efficiently when activities are understood and managed as interrelated processes. Principle five leads on from the previous principle. It's about a system approach to management. A business should focus its efforts on the key processes as well as aligning complementary processes to get better efficiencies. This means that most of the processes are managed together as a system which should lead to greater efficiencies. Principle 6 is about continual improvement. Improvement is essential for an organisation to maintain current levels of performance, to react to changes in its internal and external conditions and to create new opportunities. Principle seven is about factual approach decision-making. Decisions make an analysis and evaluation of data and information are more likely to produce desired results. Facts, evidence, and data analysis lead to greater objectivity and confidence in decision-making. The last principle is the mutually beneficial supplier relations. This principle deals with the supply chains. It promotes the relationship between the company and its suppliers, recognizing its interdependency. A strong relationship enhances productivity and encourages seamless working practices. What does the standard actually look like? ISO 13485 structure is split into eight sections. The first three are introductory, with the last five containing the requirements of the quality management system. Let's have a look at the major clauses four to eight. Clause four is about the quality management system. This section talks about general QMS requirements, as well as the documentation requirements for the standard. It includes the requirements for the quality manual, control of documents and control of records, all of which are required documents in the QMS. Clause five is about management responsibility. The management responsibility requirements cover the need for top management to be instrumental in the implementation and maintenance of the QMS. Along with planning for the QMS, there is a need for top management to be involved in the ongoing review of the system to ensure customer satisfaction and improvement. Clause six is resource management. This section, our management resources, is short but covers the necessity to control all resources, including human resources, buildings and infrastructure, and the working environment. Clause 7 is about product realisation. The product requirements deals with all aspects of the planning and creation of the production service. This section includes requirements on planning, 
product requirements review, design purchasing, creating the product or service, and controlling the equipment used to monitor and measure the product or service. Clause 8 is about measurement, analysis and improvement. This last section includes the requirements needed to make sure that you monitor whether your QMS is functioning well. It includes assessing customer satisfaction, internal audits, monitoring products and processes, dealing with non-conforming products and corrective and preventative actions. Having watched this lesson, you've learned that ISO 13485 is an international standard recognized throughout the world for establishing a business management system unique to the medical device industry. It is based on eight quality management principles that are split into eight sections and the first three clauses are the introductory part of the standard with the last five containing requirements for the QMS.